the launch of NASA's Voyager probes marked the beginning of a historic interstellar journey. This mission demonstrated our ability to monitor not just Earth but also our solar system and beyond. Even after 45 years, these remarkable spacecraft continue to provide scientists with updated insights about space. Despite having a memory capacity 3 million times smaller than a regular smartphone and being 38,000 times slower than a 5G internet connection, these incredible probes remain at the forefront of space exploration. But now, in a shocking twist, the Voyagers have stumbled upon an impossible discovery. What are they doing right now? What will the Voyager spacecraft encounter? Let's find out. On September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, a remarkable journey commenced as Voyager 1 was launched into space, propelled by the Titan Centaur rocket. Only 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 followed suit, embarking on a twin odyssey into the cosmos. Their primary mission was to explore the gas giants of our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, and the moons that orbit them. However, these brave explorers far exceeded their initial objectives, embarking on a journey that would take them to the farthest reaches of our celestial neighborhood. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have set numerous records during their epic voyage. They have lasted longer than any other spacecraft in history, and their travels have taken them further from Earth than any other human-made objects. In fact, they have entered interstellar space, making them the first human-created objects to do so. Their journey into interstellar space, beyond the sun's sphere of influence and into the uncharted territory of the galaxy, has provided scientists with invaluable data. As pioneering interstellar probes more than 12 billion miles from Earth, they continue to surprise physicists with their findings. The recent impossible discovery is one of those finds scientists could never predict. We will examine it in greater detail later. The achievements of the Voyager twin probes have been nothing less than spectacular. Their early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons made more than 40 years ago astonished researchers and defied previous assumptions about these distant worlds. These moons, which astronomers once believed would be as inactive and heavily cratered as our own moon, turned out to be packed with geological activity. Voyager 2, in particular, achieved several significant milestones during its journey. It became the first spacecraft to pass by Uranus in 1986, and just three years later, it conducted a flyby of Neptune. To this day, it remains the only spacecraft to have ventured on such a path. As the spacecraft continued their remarkable voyage, NASA implemented a series of measures to extend their operational lifespans. Over the past three years, non-essential components and heaters have been turned off to conserve energy, allowing them to operate well into the next decade with an estimated mission end date of 2030. For the scientists and engineers who have been part of this extraordinary journey from its inception, the culmination of the Voyager missions is a bittersweet moment. Their dedication and hard work have seen the project through far beyond their initial expectations. The data returned by the Voyagers has provided valuable insights, fueled countless scientific discoveries, and inspired generations of researchers and space enthusiasts. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were not just ordinary spacecraft, they were meticulously designed to be stable platforms with a rotation rate more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This design minimized any visual blur as the spacecraft captured images and data while hurtling through space. Their impressive imaging capabilities began to astound scientists and the public even before their encounters with the outer planets. The spacecraft started transmitting images of Jupiter while still several months away from the planet. These early images, revealing the gas giant swirling clouds and iconic Great Red Spot, delighted audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that truly set the stage for the Voyager's groundbreaking observations. Io, slightly larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in the solar system. The spacecraft's instruments detected peculiar signals from Io, which were confirmed by the vivid images they captured. These images revealed towering volcanic plumes and a surface marked by the ejection of volcanic material. Pele, one of Io's most prominent volcanoes, has erupted 30 times higher than Mount Everest, covering an area nearly the size of France. The Voyager spacecraft captured over 33,000 images of Jupiter and its moons, showcasing the planet's beauty and the incredible diversity of moonscapes in the Jovian system. Before the recent impossible discovery, the twin Voyagers had been making spectacular discoveries since their launch. One of the most surprising findings was the existence of Jupiter's rings. These rings, though faint, were a revelation and added to the intrigue of the gas giant. Additionally, Voyager 2 revealed that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, possessed an icy shell believed to be over 60 miles thick. 
These findings challenged previous assumptions about the nature of these distant celestial bodies and inspired further investigations into the potential habitability of icy moons. As the voyagers departed from Jupiter, they received a gravity assist that provided them with a farewell kick, propelling them toward Saturn. Without this vital boost, they would have been unable to escape the Sun's gravitational pull and venture further into space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 soon went their separate ways, each heading towards new frontiers. Voyager 1's path took it close to Saturn's moon Titan, which is cloaked in an orange hazy atmosphere. This moon's mysteries piqued scientists' interest, leading to further studies of its complex chemistry. Voyager 1 then turned northward, departing from the plane of the planets, and began its journey beyond the realm of our solar system. Voyager 2, on the other hand, embarked on a series of adventures that brought it to the outermost planets of the solar system. In 1986, it made a historic flyby of Uranus, where it discovered 10 previously unknown moons, increasing the planet's moon count. Three years later, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, revealing the remarkable features of this distant ice giant. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 recorded wind speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour, making it the fastest wind ever recorded on a planet in our solar system. As the spacecraft passed within 2,980 miles of Neptune's azure methane-rich atmosphere, it provided unprecedented insights into this distant world. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was found to be one of the coldest places in the solar system, with surface temperatures plummeting to minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit minus 235 degrees Celsius. Triton also exhibited unique features, including ice volcanoes that ejected nitrogen gas and icy particles five miles into its atmosphere. These discoveries expanded our understanding of the variety and complexity of celestial bodies in our solar system, even in the outermost regions. One individual who played a pivotal role in extending the missions beyond their initial goals was the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan. As a member of the Voyager mission's imaging team, he passionately advocated for capturing one last set of images before the cameras on both spacecraft were turned off. These images would offer a parting gift to humanity, a final glimpse of our home planet from the distant depths of space. Sagan's persistence paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back toward the inner solar system and captured a series of 60 images. The most iconic among them, known as the pale blue dot, remains an unforgettable symbol of our place in the cosmos. Taken from a distance of 3.8 billion miles, it is the farthest image of our planet ever recorded. Earth appears as a tiny pale blue speck, barely distinguishable in the vastness of space. The Voyager mission is an astonishing tale of durability and longevity that reads like a space-age superhero comic. Even after 40 years, they're still out there, continuing to send us valuable data from the furthest reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. Now, let's talk about their archaic 8-track tape system. Yes, you heard that right, 8-track tapes were all the rage in the 70s, and the Voyager probes still use them. It's a testament to the genius of the mission's designers that these trusty tapes have stood the test of time. But why 8-track tapes, you ask? In those early days of space exploration, digital storage as we know it today was still in its infancy, so they needed a reliable and durable data storage system, and those 8-track tapes fit the bill. They're like the indestructible workhorses of the cosmic age. What's even more incredible is that the data on these tapes isn't just your run-of-the-mill tunes, it's precious scientific data about the outer planets, moons, and interstellar space. That's right, these tapes hold the key to understanding some of the most profound mysteries of the universe. As for durability, think about this, the Voyager spacecraft are exposed to extreme temperatures, cosmic radiation, and the vacuum of space, and yet these aging explorers keep on going. It's like sending your grandparents on a trek through Antarctica, and they not only survive but thrive. What are the strategies used that ensured the success of the Voyager missions? One important technique used in the Voyager missions was gravity assist maneuvers, and their role in these legendary interstellar missions was nothing short of brilliant. Imagine two brave spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, setting out on their audacious quest to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. To reach these distant destinations and gather invaluable data, they needed a boost, something more than their own propulsion systems could provide. This is where gravity assists come into play, and it's a bit like cosmic choreography. Instead of relying solely on their engines, these spacecraft performed a celestial dance with some of our solar system's heavyweight planets, using the immense gravitational pull of these giants to slingshot themselves on there. Epic Journeys Picture Voyager 1 making its close encounter with Jupiter, like a skilled surfer catching a massive wave. The spacecraft approached the gas giant at a precise angle and speed, and as it drew closer, Jupiter's immense gravity gave it a significant boost in speed and altered its trajectory. 
This slingshot effect sent Voyager 1 hurtling toward Saturn with newfound energy and velocity. Voyager 2, not to be outdone, followed a similar path. It performed gravity assists not just with Jupiter and Saturn but also with Uranus and Neptune. Each of these planetary encounters provided Voyager 2 with a speed boost, allowing it to continue its journey and explore these distant worlds. The result? These gravity assists enabled both spacecraft to conserve their fuel, travel greater distances, and accomplish their ambitious mission objectives. It's like getting a free ride from one planet to the next, all while gathering groundbreaking data and capturing stunning images along the way. Now, let's explore the ultimate goal of the Voyager missions and their profound significance. Picture this, two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched into the cosmic abyss, not just to explore the outer planets, but to boldly go where no spacecraft had gone before, interstellar space. Their ultimate goal was to break free from the gravitational clutches of our sun and venture into the vast, uncharted territory beyond our solar system. These missions weren't just about the immediate scientific discoveries, they were about extending humanity's reach into the cosmos and leaving an enduring legacy. Imagine a message in a bottle, but on a grand cosmic scale. Each Voyager spacecraft carries a golden record, a time capsule of Earth's culture and knowledge, etched with images, sounds, and greetings from our world. It's as if we send a cosmic postcard to the universe, saying, hello, this is us. This record was designed to last for billions of years, carrying our stories and our existence to distant stars and potentially other civilizations. As the Voyagers journeyed farther and farther from Earth, they provided us with unprecedented views of the outer planets and their moons. They revealed the dynamic atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn, the icy moons of Uranus, and the mysterious blue expanse of Neptune. These discoveries reshaped our understanding of our solar system and ignited our curiosity about the possibilities that lie beyond. But it didn't stop there. The Voyagers ventured even farther, beyond the influence of our Sun, into interstellar space. This uncharted territory presented new challenges and opportunities for exploration. They continued to send back data about the interstellar medium, the space between the stars, shedding light on the conditions and mysteries of this vast expanse. It's like sending our best explorers into the unknown, with the hope that they will uncover the secrets of the universe. The significance of the Voyager missions goes beyond scientific discovery. They represent humanity's in 